to go go. Oh, with the record selection and the mirror's reflection, I'm a dancing all with myself. Oh, when there's no one else in sight, but in the crowd and lonely night. Well, I wait so long for my love vibration, and I'm dancing all with myself. Alright, so now I'm gonna transform Blackout into his robot mode. First thing you want to do is take this entire piece back here that connects to the uh, the chopper on top and just remove it. There you go. Just remove it and set it to the side. This makes this a lot easier. Now he looks very small but don't worry, it'll become a lot bigger. Next thing you do is open up these panels like this and then rotate it like that. So it's facing. So these uh, missiles right here are facing forwards. Same thing with this one. And then you're going to take this piece right here and like detach it from this tab that's right there. I don't know if you can see it. See, you see that slot right there? There's a tab in there that locks into place. Detach it and fold it back. Same thing with this one. Like that. And then I think it's... Oh, no, wait. And then you're going to remove this like that. And just... Eh, I guess you could just leave it there and rest it there. Transform and roll out. And then I guess it's time for the automorph. However, mine doesn't work very well. Moving this forwards will kind of put the yeah. There you go. It works. Uh, it'll flip open the head and the chest area. Lock this into place. Then you're gonna rotate the hips and put the legs in place as well. Rotate this. Rotate this. <laughs> rotate this and fold down the, the toes. I guess you could say it's not exactly the feet, but the toes. And then go over here in the back, open there you go. Open this panel up and take out the heel. Then close it. Then take the back heel. Let's see if I could do it. There you go. <laughs> it's becoming easier than I thought. There. And then I'm gonna flip the camera upwards. And then the next thing you're gonna do is take these panels and fold them in. That way this piece that has the square opening right here is like this flat against his back and then you're gonna take the arms and put them into place like so and there's let's see if you can see it there you go slot right there tab right there will go exactly in place like that same thing with this one let's see if I could get it in this is very difficult there you go slot panel or slot and tab there you go there you go, I got it right. <laughs> okay. The heel went in. Alright. Now you are going to take the arm and fold it down. Same thing with the other one. You're going to rotate it this way. Rotate it that way. Open the hands. Take, um, Fold back these panels inside his arm. Same thing with this one. Alright, then you're going to go take this piece back and take the cage, detach it, and then rotate it around. And then you're going to fit this hole into that peg, oh, that, that peg into this hole, rather, like this. Flip the uh, propellers down, the, yeah, the blades down. The propellers, the blades. Not the best way to do this. There. And then simply just attach it back onto him. Pull this up once more. So we can get him to stand up. And there you have Blackout. Okay, so here he is in robot mode. He is pretty damn small. He is, like one of my subscribers said, like an oversized deluxe. He is not up to Voyager standards. However, the only thing that makes him look as if he's tall or he's big as a Voyager is this back piece right here. 
but it doesn't really count. From head to toe, he's almost like a deluxe. His color scheme is pretty much the same, however we have a little bit of this dull gray right here in his hands, but everything else is still the same. The detail has been slightly amplified, especially around the leg area. You have all those uh, robotic parts and whatnot. And up on his chest. However, his face is kind of ugly. He has all these lines and all those uh, black detailings right there and it doesn't really look right, that right. And he also has the Decepticon symbol in metallic silver right there on his chest. As well as this chest piece right here, his sil metallic silver. He does have light piping and it does shine um, uh, a good way through it. However, the bad thing is that this piece right here and all this right here is limiting the light from actually shining through. So it doesn't really work all the way. Um, as for posability, he stands pretty well. However, of course, this back piece m does most of the supporting as well as his feet. But he has some good posability. However, you can't really move around his legs too much thanks to this piece because it's really kind of frustrating. His articulation, however, is kind of cool. He doesn't have that many points, however, they're ratcheted. He has the most ratcheted joints I have seen in a figure. You can move the toes, like I showed before. He has ratcheting joints on his knees. He has ratcheting joints on his upper leg. Moves up and down. Yeah, up and down. Left and right. And it'll call, it could also rotate at the knee. There is no hip joint, but you could twist the head, left and right, slightly. You can move the arm up and down. You can move it left and see, ah, there you go, left and right. Swivel the upper arm, bend at the elbow, and move the hand up and down. Same thing with the other one, of course. That's pretty much him on the basic level. He's a, he's a pretty good figure. However, scale was really needed for this figure. He needed to be a little bit bigger. That's why people ask for a leader class. Now, he doesn't really have a principal, you know, weapon in this mode. He doesn't have an actual weapon. However, you could remove the back piece. A piece to piece. There you go. And there he is all deluxe size. <laughs> and what you could do is extend the propellers. Like that. Bend this piece. And fit this hole right there into... Where is it? On one of the sides, you could fit it into let's see where it is there it is the hole fit that peg into the hole and basically just let it rest there and that peg right there goes into his hand and he has some sort of propeller thing I don't know like so it is pretty stupid I hate this stupid weapon I prefer it just just as he was before bam like this I prefer him better like this and just have him, you know, pose in some way or probably use another figure's gun and put it in his hand. But Voyager class um, Blackout is a pretty good figure if you could get by the scale issue. Alright, so it's time to give Blackout a grade. Pros. Great um, helicopter mode. The helicopter mode has great mold, great detail. It, it, it rocks. Um, ratcheting joints, I really dig the how the joints are ratcheted, but they're not really um, hard to do so. And great color scheme. The color scheme for some reason brings me in. And that is about it, I think. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not much to this figure. Cons. Uh... Big piece back here in his um, via, via, in his uh, robot mode is kind of a distraction for some reason. It's you know sticks out. He is short. He is very short. Not up to uh, Voyager class standards. And a horrible weapon. I hate how they came up with this for it to be a weapon. It's all like this big, so I hate it. But that's pretty much the, it. So I give his his helicopter mode. A 8.7, which is a B plus, is a great um, helicopter mode. I give his robot mode an 8.5, which is a B. So overall, he gets an 8.6, which is a B. So if you want this figure, even though he's from Wave One, then I suggest you get him. He's a, I recommend him. He's a pretty good addition to the uh, TF Movie Line collection. He's very accurate. So this is Black Spider David signing off. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.